Hello students, welcome to Saurav Sir's classes. The question is, let R denote the set of real numbers and Q the set of all rational numbers. Now for 0 less than or equal to epsilon less than or equal to half, let the open interval 0, 1 minus epsilon. Which of the following are true? Now, option A, that is supremum 0 less than epsilon less than half. Supremum A epsilon is equal to supremum 0 less than epsilon less than half. 1 minus epsilon is equal to supremum half comma 1 which is equal to 1. So option A is incorrect. Now for option B, 0 less than epsilon 1, less than epsilon 2, less than half, we have infimum A epsilon 1 is equal to infimum 0, 1 minus epsilon 1 is equal to 0, is equal to infimum 0, 1 minus epsilon 2, which is equal to infimum A epsilon 2. So option B is again incorrect. Now for option C, 0 less than epsilon 1 less than epsilon 2 less than half implies 1 minus epsilon 1 greater than 1 minus epsilon 2 and we have supremum a epsilon 1 is equal to supremum 0 comma 1 minus epsilon 1 which is equal to 1 minus epsilon 1 greater than 1 minus epsilon 2 which is equal to supremum 0 comma 1 minus epsilon 2 which is equal to infimum a epsilon 2 so option c is correct and for option d we have supremum a epsilon intersection q is equal to supremum 0 comma 1 minus epsilon intersection q is equal to 1 minus epsilon which is equal to supremum 0 comma 1 minus epsilon intersection r given q which is equal to supremum 0. therefore option d is also correct so C and D are the correct options. The next question is, let f from R to R be a function satisfying fx plus y is equal to fx into xy for all xy belonging to R and limit x tends to 0, fx is equal to 1. It wasn't that clear over here, so I wrote it properly over here. Then which of the following are necessarily true? Option A, F is strictly increasing. Now take Fx is equal to e to the power minus x. Therefore, it is a decreasing function which satisfies all the given conditions. So option A is incorrect. Option B, F is either constant or bounded. Again using this we can say that option B is incorrect. Option C. F R X is equal to X is equal to F X to the power R for every rational R belonging to Q. Now, for any N belonging to natural numbers, we have F N X is equal to F X to the power N. 
replace x by x by n we get fx to the power 1 by n is equal to fx by n now take r is equal to p by q then f r x is equal to f p by q x that is equal to f x by q plus x by q p times that is equal to f x by q p that is f x to the power r so option c is correct and option d f x greater than equal to 0 for all x now f x can be written as f x by 2 plus x by 2 that is f x by 2 whole squared which means for any x f is squared and thus f x by 2 squared greater than 0 so f x greater than is equal to 0 so option d is correct therefore c and d are the correct options